so they're cooking this. Uh, how can people resist this? Boy, you want to catch people's attention. You do what this, what this they're doing. And this is a, a famous restaurant, Gordon Steakhouse. How can people resist? So, it's weird. I don't know if this is capturing my face or not. It's now, let's say, 3.30 in the afternoon. And it is so hot. I mean, this is really... I'm disgracing myself because I have a business on Miracle Mile. I need people to come out and shop. There's a moral to this story. If it's so hot, I'm 73 years old, so maybe I give out sooner than others, but it's too hot. I'm going home. I'm going to research, recharge my cell battery. This lasts till 10 p.m. tonight, so I'll go home. I'll charge my cell. I may, at 73, take a nap. But really, I wouldn't do it unless it was too damn hot. Excuse my language. What's the solution? What I've been advocating for 10 years at City Hall, misting machines like they have at Disney World, uh, like they have on South Beach. The guy who did them for South Beach came out here. Uh, his company is the misting company. He gave me an estimate for Miracle Mile that we we're just on uh, between twenty dollars and $30,000 to do misting stations for the... Uh, uh, for Miracle Mile, uh, like eight missing machines. Uh, and then, uh, I mean, I'm telling you, here's a joke. Anyways, so like I got the answer. The city has spent well over a million dollars on temporary art exhibits. And they can't come up, come up with 30000 to keep uh, shoppers coming when it's a brutal heat in the summer. Uh, and I don't get elected city commissioner. Um, here's the joke, and it, this is a self-deprecating joke. I shouldn't tell this joke. What's the difference between miracle, a frying pan? What's the difference between a frying pan and Miracle Mile in August? Uh, <laughs> the answer to the joke is Miracle Mile is bigger than the frying pan. Otherwise, there's no difference. And that can change. We, we do the missing machines for 30000 30, right? And you have optional stations. It's women that are afraid of ruining their hairdo, don't worry. First of all, the missing machines don't ruin them. Secondly, uh, it's optional only. You have to go to the missing machine. It's not like you're walking down the sidewalk and you got to be missed it. And uh, uh, so the city is not looking after its tax base. The city of Coral Gables is not looking at under, it's not protecting its tax base, tax base. People spending money on Miracle Mile is the city, part of the city's tax base, a significant part. I'm going to just say minimum 20% of the entire budget, approximately, let's say. And they're not protecting it for $30,000, but they're blowing uh, one or $2 million on temporary art. Vote for me, Rip Home City Commission.